Welcome to another segment of the Fab Life, and here I am again Yay. with Bettina. I feel Hi. like we're um, we're competing in the battle of the stars. We're doing this interview really fast. Yeah, we are talkers. <laughs> that's free, that's a truism, boy. Right yeah, I mean yeah. we are talkers, and I don't always meet somebody who can keep up with me, so it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I so appreciate you. so tell me what what you well, I appreciate you too. You actually have a beautiful manner of speaking. I love this. Oh, voice. thank you, thank you very much. Well, thanks to my directoire, Maria Purissima. She was the one who trained me. <laughs> That's awesome. I was already fabulous when I came in. Now I'm spectacular because of mm, her. Maybe she'll train me too. Yes, yes, she will. So now, uh, did you um, learn a lot by working with I those did. I started out sweeping the floors. Believe me, kids. I mean, people, I... You know, you graduate from fashion design at one of the best fashion design colleges on the West Coast, and then you think you're going to be the superstar tomorrow, but it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You have to start right yeah. out to the bottom, and they pat you on the butt, and they get you going, and you, you learn to be a cutter, a, sew, a sewer. Well, you don't really sew usually. I manage sewers. I manage design rooms. Um, I helped with the purchasing. I helped as an assistant designer to That's the designers. Awesome. But um, and some designers were not very fun to work for. I know there were a lot of I screamers know. in the day. Oh I yes, mean, yeah, people yeah. who had uh, no yeah. filter and actually had no control over their behavior. Their emotions. And yeah. and, and it was toxic. It was awful. But you know, when you're young, it's called young and dumb. You don't realize you don't have to work for people like that. Like that, yeah. I started real after about five years. I'm like. I don't really think I'm going to interview the interviewed. I think I'm going to interview them, too. Yeah. And I would sw walk around a factory, and I would see what it was like before I take a job. Because I could tell. You mm -hmm. can tell by the people if they're happy or not. Yes. And I started to be more particular about my job, and I wasn't Absolutely. in toxic environments as much anymore. And my family was happy because I didn't come home at Christmas being a mean lady yes. or a mean young girl, according to them. I didn't know what they were talking about because yeah. I was in the environment. I thought that that's how people treated each other, but that's young, but that's, that's not... being a young and dumb person in their twenties. Yeah. You didn't realize. I was really grew up in the garment business in my personality yeah. I think, too. Because when you're young, you you tend to be a sponge and yeah. you sponge and you off just think that's the way you treat people, but yeah. that's not the way you treat yeah. people. Okay, now let's talk about your collection. You oh, have wow. two. You brought in two um, lovely outfits. The gowns. Yeah, the gowns. Worn are... by Chanel and worn by Paris. Great names, yes, right? Yes, yes. And yes. that was just an accident, but not really, yes, because I love those yes. girls. I mean, they're really great. So describe to me the, uh, the outfit that um, Chanel is wearing. Okay. With the fringes. Yeah, Chanel has the fringe. She has a very low plunging neckline, kind of mm -hmm. like inspired by J-Lo when she yes. wore that to the navel mm -hmm. green dress. And everybody was yes. just amazed that she had the tape. Yeah. She had the tape on there, so she looked that really was good. A... And the tape's used today. Everybody uses yeah. the tape, right? You're you going to gonna show it while you're you know with the what, tape. What P. Diddy <laughs> said about that dress, it, that dress was created by Versace, by the way, the, the one oh, that J-Lo wore, okay. the green one. Um, green. She said... That J Lo took her many hours to put that dress on. It took him only a few seconds to take it off. <laughs> That's what P Diddy said. That's so okay. Cute. Now let's That's talk about. That's a cute yeah. story. I love it. Whoa! Yeah, that gets a man going. But yeah. this dress I made, it mm -hmm. is inspired by her, but it's not really the same. It's not Mine the same. Mine no. has yeah. a nude fabric. Now yes. it can be made to match your skin tone. Yes. This yes. is also removable if you want to go, you know, sexier. Yes. But this could be worn to the office, yes. even though it's very low in the the be the ivory fabric is down to here. The beige skin tone fabric yes. is down to here. It looks professional. Oh my and you gosh. put the jewelry, and it, nobody can kind of, you know, people are looking because it looks, yeah. wow, look at that slit, but it's not. It's just beige fabric. So anyway, it's appropriate it's, it's for appropriate. office or yes. uh, elegant affairs. And like I said, if you're at home or go out with your sweetheart, you want to take that thing, yes. the dicky mm -hmm. out, you know. Yes. But then the fringe comes, you know, it's detachable for cleaning, and it's, yes. it's fun. you got to have leather fringe. Yes, and now let's Dim. talk about Paris. Oh my gosh, I know yeah. that you mentioned uh 
Moulin Rouge and Toulouse Lautrec and all that. Oh yeah. my God! That gown was inspired by Fletcher. Toulouse Lautrec. Um, Toulouse Lautrec, who I love his artwork oh and story God. and just the times. I just love that can can. Can you can, hold that thought? The story of the can can. Hold that thought for a second sure. because when I saw Moulin Rouge with Nicole Kidman and oh, I know. Um, I love everybody um, cries when they are. And uh, who else is there? Um, um, John Leguizamo played the role of Toulouse Lautrec. And he goes, my name is Toulouse Lautrec. Mormon. <laughs> what does Mormon mean? I don't know, but that's what he said. I love you have yeah. it down. Mormon. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I used to watch movies as a kid and, and yes. practice the lines. Yes, and when yes. my relatives would all get together, it was like Coco Chanel. They dress up in costumes and, and do yes. play and plays for each other. That's I what I like to do naturally as a child. My yes. family, all my cousins, I'd have them all rehearse a play. I'd make, we'd make, I usually make it up and then I'd have them play roles yes. and we would make it up and do rehearsals, rehearsals and we would do a yeah. play for the family. And yeah. I always well, was the director. That, I don't know why. Nice. So, and, the, and the costume designer. So going back to the... Um, the outfit that Paris is yeah. wearing. Uh, it was right for a, now. a costume mm -hmm. couture yeah. competition. Couture can can. It's very can can. Yeah, and it's it was supposed mm -hmm. to be very sexy, and I had those neat appliques, yes. and I just started playing with them, and that's how it all turned out with the sleeve, with the applique matching, and everything cutouts. Um, but the fur, the the ruffle right up here is actually crow feathers, and the ruff. And the crow was very beautiful in the twenties. Very pop, you know, started in twenties. Yes. Actually, I in, was inspired by my grandmother's gown when she was wearing that on a cruise in the nice. back in her twenties. When she beautiful, was in her twenties, she was lucky enough to get to go on a cruise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which they went on about twenty five cruises, I believe. My grandparents were very well traveled, but yes. um, unlike me, I wish it was sounds good. That they took them on a lot of um, dance dances and they had have to have gowns for every yes, single yes. one of the cruises they went on. And that was one with the rough. So mm -hmm. anyway, that's where I got inspired. And <clears throat> crow was the smartest bird. Is yes, the smartest yes. bird and that the crow is here. And the bottom part is the marabou, marabou feathers. I love it. Yeah. I don't want to say chicken, but you know, it's marabou yes, sounds it's better because it feels yes. so nice. You don't even want to call it that because yes. marabou it's so fun and mm -hmm. light it looks like fur but it floats like a feather now i have a pressing question and this is on behalf of the animal rights activists now when they take out the um the feathers of of the oh that the birds. doesn't hurt a bird they to collect it from the where they put the when the eggs come out you know they just collect it Okay. They don't hurt a bird. So they don't hurt. Or when they're down, they collect the down from the, you know. The only reason why I'm asking you this is because when I did Manhattan Fashion Week a few months ago, the designer oh, who, who I was oh. interviewing, um, Stephen Vasquez, he said, well, I'm hoping that the feathers that are around your neck is not real. <laughs> And I you? was like, Did I he didn't get on know. You? Like, he got on me. But like, you know what? Feathers are different than fur. Yeah. I mean, furs, were they going to have to kill an animal? But, um, or, you know, it's thought to, you know, but a bird, they lose their feathers. I did not pluck one yeah, of those, yeah, not yeah, one, yeah. not even one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> she gave them to me readily. So. Okay. Know. So there you go. My beautiful Steven. bird, Bluebell. She should oh be on the gosh. show. We gotta bring Blue one Bell. of these days. I'm gonna show you the collection of Steven. You're, you're gonna love it. If you so. want to have Bluebell on the show, she'll come on. Oh yes, she'll absolutely. give you a feather probably too. Oh my gosh! My bird. She, so she's an actual. I have a bird. Blue she's Bell. an actual her, bird. Her name's Bluebell, and you. She has a secret. Her name. She sings a secret song. How, I'll tell how you big at the is next she? Episode. She sings a song that's unbelievable. Oh my! You're gosh. not gonna believe it. I'll tell you later, but. When the show, you're gonna hear what song she sings. Oh my gosh! It's amazing. Can we can can we know what the song is now for my audience? Okay, the first word is okay. The second and third was you have to guess it. Mm -hmm. Three words. Three words. The last two words of the loves me. Oh, he loves me. You love me. J. J. Jesus. Oh, Jesus loves me. Oh, she was a Christian. Nice. She was brought up by Christian the bird people. Was a, the bird is a Christian, yeah. rather. We yes. got her at 10 years old, and they had taught her as a little baby, I mean, to sing. See? She, oh she sings Jesus gosh. Loves Me, the whole thing. 
Say it's that, great. Um, I sing with her. <laughs> now we should be in Saved by Grace. <laughs> she should be your, your background music, right? <laughs> you should have her as a oh mascot gosh, on your show. Yeah. But maybe oh she won't gosh. do it on command. You know, she's a little shy. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's like even around us. You have How to, big is she? She's this long. You know, her oh. body's this big and then her tail is that big. So she's oh. this big. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's got claws. And, and then you can just put it on, yeah, on your arm? She won't arm. bite me. Not oh too much. Oh, my gosh. Not too much. She's <laughs> what is she, like a cockatoo? Or no, like... a, 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 a macaw. A macaw. And that's, that's why she has the yellow on the back. Oh, Yellow on the back of the feathers. Yes. And the blue on the front. So she's the nice. best. This reminds me of her when you're holding her. Oh, my yeah, goodness. She probably wonder why you have her, her you know, <laughs> a gown made out of her. Yeah, it's a gown made out of Do we still have more time? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And Fashion. thank you, Bettina, for gracing my show. It, it's been a pleasure. And I finally see you in person, not, yeah. not only text messages, but this is the beginning of a long and lasting friendship. Thank you. I could see it, it was coming. fun talking about the fashions yes. because I don't have anyone to talk to fashion. And, and to my I televiewers love it. I love it. out there, um, I'd like to. Oh, I think we have a one minute, so we can still talk just a let's, little bit. Let's give them a sneak peek of next review. Oh, a sneak peek! What is the sneak peek? Fashion the, crimes. Fashion crimes. We should talk about all the fashion crimes out there. Okay, today. The, the next. Um, mm. Fab Life, the next episode of Fab Life, I'll, I'll have you as my fashion crime I want to talk guest. about all the fashion crimes. Yes, Because okay. there are a lot of them, boy, out there. You know, just piracy and just different things in the business. I think I'm going to wear my and, cop And, and sexual, you know, mm-hmm. like the you too, you, me, me. The hashtag me, me too movement. Me movement and, yeah. and all the Nike people get fired and all this stuff. And, and, and the yeah. LGBTQ. <laughs> We'll talk about there. everything. We'll talk about everything. And uh, Dolce and Gabbana being the bad boys that they Oh, are. my oh, goodness. They did a bad one. Oh, but we love Dolce. I know, but they really should be nicer to I China. I love Dolce. They're not nice to China right now. They did oh, something bad. They, no. they, they did their hands slapped, so they got in well, big trouble. Big trouble. Since... Since I'm doing Fab Life, no comment. Okay. <laughs> because I he love those. He's staying diplomatic because he I, wants a free jacket. I love jacket. those uh, dynamic duo. They are the best. No, I love their, their story. And Do there you, you go. I, I should say, you're right. I should We have to bash. say goodbye to the audience now. And we have to say goodbye. But don't forget, my fabulous girls and boys, that your best fashion accessory is your self-confidence. Chowder. Bye. <laughs> Love it. And see.